The story starts with a Christmas gift, a bag of soybeans, a packet of tempeh starter, and a book about making tempeh. Being the engineer that I am, the way I see this is, yes, challenge accepted. I'm told a batch takes two, one, two, gallon Ziploc bags. That is my starting point. In order for tempeh to ferment properly and become good tempeh, as you see here, the bags need to be off the bottom of the incubator. In other words, they need to have air all around. That is my second requirement. So I went to my local home store in search of such a rack that would allow me to have the bags off the bottom of the incubator. I went to the closet organization aisle and found this rack. Looks really good. Plenty of room underneath. Now do the bags fit on it? Yes they do. Awesome. On to the next issue. The rack is pretty tall but I realized that I could easily bend the legs as you can see to make it just the right height. The next challenge was to find a container that the rack would fit into. So while at the store I went rack in hand looking for containers and found this one. Looks good, it fits. Okay, so quick recap. Now we have a rack that the bags will fit onto that allows plenty of air around it so the fermentation will happen properly. We can adjust it. We also found a container that the rack will fit into. So now we have to build an insulation in the box. For this I chose one inch thick styrofoam panels lined on one side with reflecting material great real cheap. At this point it's just down to measuring the box and figuring out how big of an insulated box I can make. So here's our final insulated box. It is a basic construction. I use duct tape to hold it together just in the interest of keeping everything cheap. Again it is very sturdy. There's nothing fancy here just trying to keep everything reasonable and low cost. With the box complete, it is now time to shift our attention to the control of the temperature. I found this very inexpensive Chinese-made temperature controller. It has one outlet that is controlled and is basically fully adjustable. Set your low and a high temperature and, and it's just about as easy as it can get. It plugs in and it will do the job very nicely. So there we have our light bulb and the little light fixture that came with it, again Home Depot purchased. Now you see it all on the table, sort of a dry assembly, make sure everything is there. You see the temperature probe where the light goes. Basically we get to see what it looks like now. Okay, so one more step further in the process now, the insulated box is fitted in the tote. Everything fits really well. I just want to make sure it fits with the lid on. So yep, that looks pretty good. Okay, next step. I chose to use an over-the-edge hanger basically found in the closet organizing aisle at the store. Basically because I didn't want to drill the holes on the side of the tote to hold the temperature controller in case I want to use the tote again. Uh, that's really about it. I did use some double stick tape there to hold it in place. I made a couple of styrofoam risers to put on top of the box so that the lid puts pressure down and gives it a good seal so I don't lose any heat. So there's the final installation with all the components put in place. You see the temperature sensor, you see the light, the routing of the wires, put a little duct tape to hold things down. And basically we are ready. So this is my final test. The unit is plugged in, the temperature is set for 88 degrees. I then start and see if it's going to turn on and then go through the rise of temperature until the maximum set which is a little bit above 88 at which point it will turn off and then I'll open the lid let it cool down until the prescribed lower temperature just a little bit less than 88 and then the light turns back on and I've sped up the video here a little bit to so spare you the pain of watching the temperature rise it's like watching paint dry And it's a full success. I'm ready for tempeh. 
is my incubator for making Tempe project. I hope you've enjoyed it. Now, of course, the big question might be how much does this cost? So I'm going to show you over here on the side kind of a quick breakdown of the items that um, I used. And I'm also going to put everything in the description below, of course. Um, so there it is. It's really not that expensive. And another thing is really it's not all necessary. I think you can do without the tote. You can just build a box out of styrofoam. It would work just fine. Some people have said even just to use the temperature controller in the oven all by itself. I just like it to be repeatable and off to the side so I don't use another component in my kitchen. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you would. And I look forward to more videos in the near future. I'm trying to, trying to start a little something here on YouTube. Um, I'm not a big cinematographer. I don't expect to make a big channel, but I have a, quite a few topics that I like to talk about. So anyway, thank you very much.